seeing the patients. Um, when you uh, go in to see a patient who might have witnessed or have experienced something that's that traumatic and just being able to kind of like give them, a, you know, put a smile on their face and just ask them how they're doing or interact with their family, just letting them know that we're here, we're going to be here every day while you're here. So while they're admitted to the hospital, we'll come see them. Um, if we don't, they'll call us like, mm -hmm. oh, I haven't seen you yet. Are you coming up today? Um, so it, that's really a, a major part of my job. And I really, really like that part. And also interact in the community. I've always, um, when I did my, um, my statement for grad school, a part of that statement was wanting to give back to my community, wanting to give back to the Bronx. Um, because initially, I spent most of my life here. And mm -hmm. so, of course, I want to be able to give back. And that's been one thing that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to work in the Bronx. I always wanted to give back to my community. And so that's been great, really connecting with the community at a different level. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many great aspects. And also working out of a hospital. I think, uh, personally, I never really saw myself working in a hospital. I, I, I Because I'm more of a non-traditional social worker in terms of I want to be able to be with the community, be with the people. So this was a perfect job for me because it's definitely given me all aspect and keeping me on my toes and I'm learning I like to learn I like to grow um, and so working in, a, in, in an institution that's a little different than what I've, I've done with in terms of working community-based organization has been very very yeah I've learned a lot and I've, I've actually enjoyed it